That's not what I expected to see first thing in the morning. Okay, so we're here in Tulsa, Oklahoma at an event called Boulder Dash. I'm not sure if at this point we will have probably shown what we have been doing all of last week, but just know that we were already kind of on a road trip. So if you see these bags under my eyes, it's because we are already dead tired from being uh, working for the last like four days in a row. But we are on four hours of sleep from last night, drove in this morning to Tulsa, Oklahoma, and we're here for Boulder Dash. It's basically a soapbox derby, but with drift trikes sponsored by Welltown Brewing here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So they uh, hired Winston and I to come out and help shoot it. We're gonna be using the Cine Whoop, the Shendron Squirt all day to capture all of the hilarity. Basically, people are gonna be like chucking water balloons, there's foam pits, jumps, all sorts of crazy stuff that's happening all the way down the course. So we're just coming in to get some specialty aerial shots. However, there's a, gonna be a little bit of a tricky situation in that there's gonna be a ton of people. We can fly over the course, so we're totally welcome to do that and get down tight next to everybody that is racing. But we wanna do a lot of shots where we reveal, you know, come out over a building, come out by some trees, come out alongside the crowd and up and in, all these sorts of things. So Winston and I are gonna have to do some really creative communication and blocking of people and all this sort of stuff to make sure that we can safely operate and get all these crazy shots. So come along with us for the adventure today to film Boulder Dash. We're gonna give you kind of the behind the scenes action of how we're gonna pull it off. So come along with us and have a great day. Something new under the sun mm. You can't take back some things You're already done, done, no You blame things that you do On somebody else, mm. no But they all see, but they all see Is you need help Casualty. So what happens is people are throwing it, it's hitting the helmet of the racer and then it just creates this perfect spread of spray right at the altitude that I'm flying. And so it's been hit, taking them all day. I actually even flew straight through the foam once just to try it and uh, it successfully flew through that. 
but uh, eventually it gave up the ghost and now when I try to plug it in, we don't get any beeps. Everything comes on, but there's no uh, initialization, so I think the ESC is dead. But it took way more abuse than I expected it to as it is, so no harm, no foul. So I'm prepping the second one to get it up in the air and ready, and we're gonna go out there and get some more shots. Down, of course, like laid out. Medical staff is on. Oh my! You seem weirdly calm about it. <laughs> they signed the waiver. There was a big guy running, and I was sitting at the bottom of the course. And he kind of like slowly finished. He had gone down pretty pretty hard, and he was bloody. <laughs> I was just like, oh. The foam cannot feel good on road rash. That's gonna suck. So, I think that went pretty well. I got some cool shots. It's kind of a tight space, so I gotta make sure I'm not flying over top of people, but still trying to get the movements that I want. But yeah, I'm super excited. I can't wait to get another battery up there and get some more runs with the actual contestants going down the course, because that's where I think this thing's really gonna shine, not just showing off where we are. So, it should be fun. I'm gonna go grab another battery and get back up there. In the morning of the event, we checked the weather to see if we were gonna get rain or get any kind of downpour or anything like that, and everything was looking pretty sketchy. Like when we first arrived in the morning, it was raining, and then like pretty much exactly as soon as we wanted to go out and start flying, everything cleared up. But not all plans come to fruition, and we ended up having some pretty nasty downpour in the middle of the event. But it was so awesome to see all of the fans, all of the guys here for Boulder Dash, just sticking it out, staying out in the rain, still chanting Baldur Dash to be a part of this event. And I think that lends to how amazing of an event this is that people are just pushing through the crazy weather to see the finals of Boulder Dash. Because we kept getting pelted with water balloons throughout the day, I decided to quickly go and tape up my squirt as much as possible to prevent as much water as possible from getting in there which helped me get some runs in the rain. Okay, so between the water balloons and the foam and the rain, all three of my squirts are dead. The uh, ESCs won't even boot anymore, and as a result, I'm fully out of drones. Like, I didn't really plan for wet drones, but I didn't think it was gonna be this big of a problem. So it's pretty unfortunate that we're already out. So Winston has graciously donated his only squirt for at least the final round. We're getting by by the skin of our teeth and it's really starting to get a little bit sketch, but uh, yeah, we're getting close. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> this is a bad idea. <laughs> 
Winston. <laughs> <laughs> Squirting bubbles. <sighs> Alright, so that's the end of Boulder Dash. I uh, hope you enjoyed coming along on the behind the scenes adventure. We had a lot of stuff go really well today. We had a lot of stuff not go so well. I mean, I really planned for a lot of good uh, city whoop shots, getting up really tight, really close, like the way I like to do chasing but I couldn't stay super close because I would get hit with the splash from the water balloons. So it was really kind of a hit and miss situation where like sometimes I could get really tight, sometimes I'd have to stay further away than I wanted. That being said, we're definitely coming back for the next year. Maybe we'll get to do some like live streaming to a Jumbotron where people can kind of like see the racers all the way down. I don't know, something like that would be really cool. And then we uh, are gonna actually waterproof the squirt so that we're not killing ESCs. Uh, I'm currently down three drones. It's, it, was, it was an awesome event though. We had a ton of fun filming. I can't wait to go through all the footage that we got. Uh, if you enjoyed this, be sure to like and subscribe to Nurk.tv. Check out store.nurk.tv for some of this awesome merch like this hat that kept me in shade all day. Thanks very much for watching. Stay flying. I gotta rinse these off. Oh my god. Why? They, 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 <laughs> they're already dead. They're already dead though. What?